I'm Professor Mary Riley. I am um, the head of the Peripheral Nerve Unit in the MRC Centre for Neuromuscular Disease, London, and my practice covers all neuropathy, but my main clinical and research practice is looking at hereditary neuropathies, including Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. So the problems developing treatments for CMT are similar to the problems in developing treatment for many of the hereditary neuropathies. So first of all, there's the finding the candidate treatments. There's now 85 different genes for CMT, and it would be impossible to develop 85 different therapies. So it's a matter of finding are there common pathways these genes affect, and therefore having candidate therapies. The second problem then is actually developing outcome measures, which means we're able to detect change over a period of say 12 months. So developing outcome measures is a big challenge and it's one thing we have a particular interest in by developing MRI. And then the third challenge is actually working out to how we develop very safe treatments. The vast majority of people with CMT luckily live a normal lifespan. So I always say to patients, we have to develop drugs we can give you in childhood that have the side effects of Smarties, but that work. So it's getting safe therapies that we can measure change in and having good candidates. The MRC Centre for Neuromuscular Diseases and Muscular Dystrophy UK have run, this is our eighth um, national translation neuromuscular meeting which is on in the next two days. So this is the second time we've had a patient day beforehand and first of all I'd say it's a great idea. It's co-funded by MD UK and the MRC Centre for Neuromuscular Disease and what I think today is particularly impressive about today's workshop is it covers a number of disease so it's got some common themes and then some divided themes and I've noticed myself in our session as the afternoon goes on people are asking more questions where they were very shy in the morning. So I hope people will leave with uh, an idea more accurately of where their disease is now in terms of what defines their disease, what's happening research-wise in their disease internationally, what's happening nationally research-wise, and also some up-to-date information from the patient support groups that are around here, including obviously MDUK, as to where to go to get the information they want. So I think patients will leave with information that hopefully is more accurate and up-to-date.